Thank you for coming to our presentation. We present a computational approach to haptic design embedded in everyday tangible interaction with digital fabrication. Our motivation is to achieve haptic design using magnetic forces embedded in tangible interaction. We can imagine that the magnetic force can perform a simple and robust mechanism for haptics when embedded in tangible objects. We call this mechanism magnetohaptics. There are several advantages when utilizing it with digital fabrication such as compactness and abrasion. However, it is difficult to manually design how magnets should be embedded in the object. Because the relationship between the magnet force and arrangement of the magnet is non-intuitive. In a previous work, Magnetohaptics, we established the forward design of this problem by simulating the magnetic force from the complicated magnet arrangement. However, it is extremely difficult to create a desired magnetic force feedback with this forward approach since we don't know what is the best magnet arrangement to achieve the desired haptics. In the study, we solved the inverse design of this problem. The optimization process contributes to finding the best magnet arrangement to fulfill the curve of haptic potential. In following, we show some optimization sequences with the visualization. We prepare three models of tangible interface and six different curves to create six types of haptic feedback. After getting the best arrangement, we created an actual tangible interface by the 3D printer to verify the result. Now, we describe the technical part of this study. Again, in this paper, we propose a computational approach to haptic design using magnets. We solve an inverse design problem to search for an optimal magnet arrangement that replicates the user-specified haptics. The process is divided into four sections. First, we have to prepare four input data. The cap is the haptic sensation of the moving container, which can be input by hand or line shape too. Here, the y-axis is the haptic potential, HT, that we originally defined for this study. We also have to set the geometry of containers, the trajectory of the moving container, and the geometry of magnets for each container. Here, the number of the containers is limited up to 2 in our model. Let's move next. In the magnet simulator, we have three contributions. First one is the formula definition of haptic potential. This is defined as the potential field of a magnetic force distributed on the trajectory. Also, we define them with formal discussion in physics, assuming that the motion occurs in quasi-static manner. Those perspectives were not provided in the previous work. Please check them on the paper. Second, we improved the magnetic simulator to reduce the computation time. It was necessary for iterative calculation in the optimization process. We applied adaptive meshing to the tail expansion of magnetic force calculation. And we also applied interpolation on the magnetic force for the accurate result. Next, we formulated an optimization problem to optimize the parameter of magnets. The objective is to minimize the distance between the user-specified haptics and the simulated haptics. The search parameter is 6n dimensional, where n is the number of magnets. This is because each magnet has the 3D position and 3D rotation at the degree of freedom. When performing of optimization, our method considers two additional constraints to ensure that the found solution is valid. This is handled by the penalty method and see the paper for detail. Finally, as a result, we got the optimal magnet arrangement, which is estimated to fulfill the haptic potential curve. In the video material, you can find whole videos of optimization and visualization for six applications. In conclusion, we propose a computational approach to haptic design using magnets. As discussions, frictions are limitation, but we think it is possible to utilize them for haptic feedback. Please find discussion on the accuracy and limitation of the solvers. As future works, we are going to design all haptics by the magnetic force and focus on the magnetic mechanism for the tangible interaction. It is the end of the, our presentation. Thank you for listening.